All right, good morning guys. Welcome to today's vlog. Today is a huge, huge day. As you see, my hair is done. I have long pants on. I'm wearing a white t-shirt, which I normally always wear. But today's gonna be a sweaty day for me, and today is Memorial Day in the United States, so, you know, celebrating all the veterans who passed away. I salute you. Um, besides that, today is a huge day in Thailand and any of the Asian countries that celebrates Buddha. Today is Visak Day. So Visak Day is essentially the celebration of Buddha, where they celebrate Buddha's birth, they celebrate Buddha, just Buddha in general, and they celebrate the passing of Buddha. And I'm with my friend today, uh, Rachel. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Um, I actually know Rachel from the United States. She <laughs> was born in Thailand, she went to school in the US, and she lives in Thailand now with her family. Um, so you can see she's in one of her traditional outfits right now. There's also another outfit right over here, which you'll see her wearing later on. And <laughs> it's in an early, early morning um, to get to the temple, one of the most famous temples in the world, one of the most largest temples in Thailand. Uh, it's just a beautiful temple, supposedly, so I'm super stoked to be there uh, and be a part of the celebration. Uh, again, you're supposed to be wearing all white. And this is uh, this is the closest thing that I have to white, and I'm supposed to be covering up my legs, so it's gonna be a sweaty, sweaty day. But today is a huge day in any of the countries that celebrates Buddha, and I am super stoked to be a part of this. So basically, this temple is called Tamagai Temple in, in the local language, but they actually have got the branches all over the world for people who are interested in meditation and also those for Buddhism in general, really. We woke up pretty early. I'm, yeah, I'm like 5. Five like 5 a.m. She picked me up uh, at 5.30, so I was basically ready to go. <laughs> um, and yeah, right now you can see an incredible sunrise uh, to the right of us, um, which is the bright part of the day right now. And uh, yeah, we are heading to the temple right now. We're gonna, I think, celebrations from 6 to 11, you said? Yes. 6 to 11, so we're in a race to get to the temple right now, and we're gonna be celebrating today's Buddha, let's say. So we are approaching the Tamagai Temple right now. In English, it's called the Damagaya Temple. And this is again, one of the most infamous temples in the world, let's say. Exit the roundabout, then turn left. And we're supposed to exit the roundabout and turn left. <laughs> yeah, it was about a 30, 40 minute drive outside of Bangkok. Turn this left. temple is pretty famous. And it's always attacked by the media. Um, a lot of people are blowing this temple up. Um, I think he's mentioned that there's a lot of money that goes into this temple. So there's a lot of money that goes into this temple. Turn left. And uh, yeah, this is a very humbling experience being here. Rachel hasn't been here in about seven years, so I'm super stoked to be here for this experience. And this is a very, very special day in Buddhism, let's say. This temple is huge. That is amazing. Yep, everyone's wearing white. Wow. Yes, it's, it's like a big, huge area where people come and meditate every like Sunday in the beginning of the month or any important ceremonies. So um, they come from across, you know, the countries and the world, flying in, getting the bus, just so that they can, you know, do make marriage. So we just entered uh, one of the temples right now. So people don't work. Um, it's a big holiday where no one's working out here in Thailand or Bangkok, let's say. And uh, people that believe in Buddhism are at temples and they're praying today and celebrating. There's a lot of people in white here. You can see some of the monks around here. You're supposed to keep your phone on silent. Um, men is not allowed to be within one meters from women, so she's already far away from me. <laughs> and yeah, this is, uh, this is a pretty big celebration day of the Buddha. And this looks like the section that we're gonna be in where she's gonna be doing prayers. And you can just see there's tons of people praying right now here. So it looks like this is the offering to the Buddha where everyone bought food, everyone bought drinks, and uh, yeah, this is a pretty incredible experience right now, I can say.
phase of prayers and now the monks are coming around right now where we give them offerings where we give them offerings so these are like dried foods even though like the requires of cooking but sometimes the temple give it to like you know people in the down south or somewhere and make you know make them feel more fulfilled because as you know poverty is still everywhere so this at least can be do to offer and make the world a better place Okay, you heard that. Make the world a better place. So the monks are lining up right now and we're gonna give them their offerings. Satu. 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 And then the monks will put all the offerings into the green basket. And as you can see, these guys are clearing them out and the monks will keep, I guess, going around. So that was the end of the first phase. Apparently there's tons of different phases all throughout the day into the night. Uh, that phase essentially was giving offerings to the Buddha, which grants us long life, which is the next afterlife. Long life, prosperity, beauty. Um, and yeah, there are a ton of different phases. We're going to the next phase right now. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty incredible experience. Thank you so much for taking me here. You're welcome. Glad you had a good time. This is a great time. We still got a few more hours, so. Yeah. We got a few more hours of good times. <laughs> so here everyone's eating. And she's donating a little bit more and they gave us some food, which is really sweet of them. All right, we just had an hour and a half break. Rachel showed me around to one of the most incredible temples around here where they have a night ceremony. They light candles. It's absolutely incredible. It's made of gold and uh, it's pretty beautiful. Um, and now we are going to phase two of today. Again, there's so many different phases throughout the day. We had a 90 minute break. Phase two is about to commence. All right, we made it back to the car. We found the car. It was such an incredible experience this morning. Thank you so much for taking me. You're very welcome. So people fly in from all around the world for this event, for this once of a year event. And uh, again, it's in celebration of the Buddha. Um, so right now it's 11 o'clock. We're gonna head out uh, and get some lunch. And keep in mind, there's ceremonies all day. So there's different phases day by day until night where they have a candle lighting ceremony and it's a full day process. So uh, we came here, we stayed here for a couple of the phases and it was quite an amazing experience. Right now we're gonna get some lunch and uh, whoa! and uh, pay attention to the driving. <laughs> <laughs> pay attention to the driving and get some lunch. Ugh. Shorts, check. Hat, check. We're back. So we went to one of the malls. This is called the Crystal Verdana? Veranda. Veranda, close. Same, same, but different. And uh, we're gonna get a Thai and Chinese combination of food. Um, sukiyaki. Sukiyaki, that's yep. what it's called. Uh, super stoked for this. She wanted to take me here. She compared it to like the TGI Fridays. <laughs> oh. Oh. Because it's a chain restaurant. Even though there are like other branches outside the country, right? Okay. But it's not the same as having like the thing in the country. So okay. it's something you can't get at the hotel. Okay. It's something you can't get at the food court. So that's why I take you here. All right, let's get some sukiyaki. So this is what we're doing, MK restaurant. Oh, and they have bubble milk tea, my favorite. I'm so hungry right now. Oh, ducks all day. Hello. It's like kind of like hot pot or shabu shabu. I'm super stoked for this. If you're not familiar with hot pot, essentially you have like a pot in the middle and they come out with like meats and different vegetables and you can just put it right in the water. You cook it yourself and um, nom, 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 you eat it. This is essentially the menu. You pick the pork, you pick whatever meat you want and you throw it in there. Now the meat's in. And don't overcook it like I would. Mmm, that looks so good. This was the most amazing meal I've had in Thailand so far. <laughs> it's just thank you so yeah. thank you so much. Oh, it's just TGI Fridays, <laughs> and it was delicious. Time to get some ice cream. A little bit of Hagen Dazs. The ice cream was so amazing. Oh my goodness! We are about to go to one of the most unique places, one of the most unique experiences in Thailand. I'm super stoked for. You'll see that in a second. So from one mall to another mall, we made it to Central Eastville. Except this mall is a little different. There's a dog right there. There's a couple dogs back there. And normally, this is the first level. There's dogs all over the place and they just let them run around. But today was yeah. a little bad luck. Well, it's public holiday, so I guess maybe like the owner takes them like out of the city. Okay, so yeah, the owner must take them out of the city. Normally it's like 20, 30 dogs just running around the place. You can play with them. And now it's like four or five. It's okay. 
Central East Mall is kind of cool. There's also a track upstairs, which you're gonna see right now. And here's the track. So you could walk, you could jog, you could run, and you don't need to be a part of a gym membership or anything like that. It's just a giant track in the middle of the mall. The mall is right down there, the mall is behind me, and people are exercising. You got people behind me prepping and stretching. Stretching is important. And this is just kind of cool that they have a track in the middle of the mall. See, we're in the right lane. We got some walkers behind us. This is kind of creepy, but it's okay. I don't know, I was jogging, give me a break. And you can just see people like prepping, people stretching or hugging the cement pillars. Stretching, she's stretching her calves. And we're gonna go get some dinner soon, but make sure you stretch before you run. So, what are we eating? So basically, it is like a seafood. Okay. Dishes. I just like mix something up a little bit. This are just like scallop with Thai salad, so it's gonna taste a bit spicy and sweet. Okay. And these are just you know fried sea bass. These fried sea bass with like yeast. So oh, this one that is so like good. fish sauce, and this one is going to be sweet and spicy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this is just you know salted egg, stir fried prawn, so and some shrimp. Absolutely love seafood. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello my love. Cold stone. All right guys, so what an incredible three months it's been in this journey so far from Bali to Australia to Cambodia, now to Thailand, especially with this guy over here. Hi Dustin. Hi guys. And yeah, I wanted to thank the community so far that's been supporting me, that's been following me, that's been subscribing, commenting, liking all my videos. Uh, thank you guys so much for following this journey. I, what I wanted to say is I have a couple big things that could be happening, big projects that could be happening in the next week or two. So I'm super stoked to hopefully announce that in the next couple weeks. Besides that, Dustin and I are going to be traveling all over Thailand uh, over the next, I think we still have about three weeks to a month. We're going to be staying in Bangkok for another two weeks roughly. And one of my best friends is going to be coming from California, David. You might know him from the earlier vlogs. And he's going to be island hopping with us throughout Thailand. Besides that, it's been an amazing VSAC day, Memorial Day back in the US, anywhere that celebrates Buddhism essentially. Uh, it was an incredible, incredible day at one of the most infamous temples all throughout Thailand, all throughout Southeast Asia in general. As you might know, people come in from other countries just for this day, just to celebrate this day, and it's been such an amazing experience diving right into the culture, and I couldn't thank Rachel more than ever. It's been an incredible day from running around VSAC day to the malls, and it's just been a relaxing, relaxing day out here in Thailand today, running around and enjoying our time. Today's vlog was a little bit different format. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's gonna be a lot more vlogs coming out, so comment down below if you guys have any questions, if you guys want to just say hello, comment down below. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are brand new to this channel, and uh, make sure you hit that notification bell because there's going to be a lot more Thailand vlogs coming out in the next few weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching.